Hey what's up I'm Nizio Cole and welcome back to another Watch Dogs 2 mod showcase. Today we're going to be looking at the Watch Dogs overhaul mod, not the ultimate overhaul mod. Although it does include it, it is just the Watch Dogs 2 overhaul mod. Now this mod is a mod pack, essentially a compilation of a bunch of different other mods. I think this is actually the first time that I've talked about a mod pack on the channel. I don't typically cover them because usually most of the mods I've covered before which in this case is true, but I actually really like the combination of mods in this pack, so I thought I'd just talk about it. One disclaimer before I get into the video, if you do not like the look of the Natural San Francisco mod, then you probably will not like this mod pack as it includes it in the pack. You could maybe try and remove it, but at that point you'd be better off just merging the mods yourself. But with all that out of the way, let's get into the video. So as I mentioned before, Natural San Francisco is in this mod. Me personally, I love Natural San Francisco. It's not realistic, but I just like the way it looks. I like the orange tint, and of course, one of the most beautiful skyboxes in a Watch Dogs 2 mod. I talked about this a ton in what was actually my first Watch Dogs mod showcase over three years ago. But of course, I love the contrast between the black and gray and white skybox with the lit up orange lights of the city. The next mod in this pack is the Ultimate Overhaul mod, which I would say is probably the most popular mod for Watch Dogs 2. It adds the ability to switch different character models for the player character, adds an invincibility toggle, you can change the time of day, insert custom scripts, and toggle air brake. By the way, I'm just gonna be going through these kind of quickly. If you wanna see the actual detailed showcase of these mods, I will have all the links in the description so you can go check those out. We have the Enhanced Parkour mod, which is a small mod that tweaks the avatar properties that allow Marcus to jump further and climb higher, not too high. Although if you are looking for a mod that allows Marcus to climb too high, there is the Dangerously Overpowered Parkour mod. Not in this pack, but I just thought I'd mention it because it's a great mod. This mod has the Remove Hacking Reticle mod, as well as the Watch Dogs 1-like cameras, which makes it so the camera is a lot closer to the vehicle when you're driving, similar to how it was in Watch Dogs 1. They've also added the Reversed HUD mod, Better Nights, Better Blackouts, the GPS Marker GTA 5 style mod, which basically makes the road marker for the GPS look like GTA, and last but not least, the Google Bus, UPS, and USPS, which is Basically just a reskin of the noodle bus in the game and the mail trucks to be USPS, UPS, and Google, just like in real life. Those are all the mods in this pack. Of course, as always, I'll have the link down in the description if you want to go check it out. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below and also let me know which mod I should showcase next. And for now, it's been Cole. Peace.